Greetings, YouTube. Happy Friday. You know, when you have insane luck, sometimes you have insane luck in this game. And it doesn't happen very often, so you just got to grab the bull by the horn, so to speak, and be thankful for it. And that's what happened to a buddy of mine, Mr. Chris Barnes, out of ISO8Y. Shout out to them. Uh, in one crystal, his first crystal yesterday, right after the new featured calves came out, he got the beautiful, the awesome six-star stealth Spidey suit. And uh, he, he bought ten. One out of ten, right off the top. So uh, he was really excited because his six stars are uh, pretty average, shall we say. Not that Hella, Nebula, or Hood are bad, but those are not the rank two kind of candidates that, say, uh, Corvus or Domino or Ghost, Awakened, Aegon, Void, etc. are. So because of this, he wanted to make a gameplay video and just kind of give some feedback. So he's actually sent me a couple of videos but before I play these, and maybe actually I'll just play this and talk over it because that will be the most efficient way of your time because you're watching this, you're busy, you don't got, I, I get that. So, Stealth Spidey gains most of his damage output from his Fury and Precision buffs. Every time a web cartridge is replaced before it expires, he gains a Fury. He gains his Precision from using his Special One, so the technique that Chris found to be the best was to use... Uh, the advantage of this by building close to a special three using the special two to gain the fury and then combo into a special one to gain the precision evading attacks via dexterity or his passive evade will pause these buffs for three and a half seconds so playing aggressive and using the dexterity mastery while being conservative with the web cartridges applied by ending a combo with a fourth light attack or a special two uh, you can hit pretty hard, especially with that special two from this round of buffs before having to use the special three to refresh your web cartridge supply. And that is really important in this. Using that special three is key to that refresh. Now, flashbang cartridges apply a vulnerability debuff, and that adds critical damage while the buff is active. Web foam cartridges apply a slow debuff, canceling unstoppable and evasion, as long as the opponent does not have the class advantage, which is also key. And then also with this debuff active and not finding an opponent with class advantage, Stealth Spidey cannot miss, which is pretty cool. Tranquilizer web cartridges apply and innervate. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's E-N-E-R-V-A-T-E, -E, innervate, debuff, preventing the opponent from gaining power while Stealth Spidey is attacking. So there have been some theories sent to me over line that he could now be a great counter for, say, map 5 mini-boss Hyperion that seems to be popping up more and more since we still have no idea where the heck Scarlet Witch is. Just a theory, unconfirmed. And so, yeah, this is Winter Soldier. Of course, this is the champion that desperately needs a better healthcare plan as he is attacked and tested out, it seems, every time there's a new champion. Let's just throw him against Realm of Legends, Winter Soldier, and have some fun. And you can see, like, the damage that you'd get from an unawakened Stark Spidey, not even close. So, for my money, I still think Stark Spidey is head and shoulders better, particularly unawakened. And I'm somebody that really likes to endorse champions that don't need to be at a high sig and awakened, because when the heck are, is the average person going to get an awakening gem, especially a 5-star or certainly 6-star and then six stones. We have barely seen six star six stones even exist yet in the game. So yeah, it's awesome that he's got the six star. Insane luck. Just like hitting the lottery on your first ticket. But would I endorse the six star over a five star Stark Enhanced Spider-Man? Not a chance. Again, particularly because he's not awakened yet. Not at a high sick. He also has a suicide mastery setup, which three out of three in glass cannon. One third recoil, three out of three double edge, three out of three willpower, and three out of three coagulate. So there you go. Uh, this is certainly something that, uh, you know, you can see still good crits, fun damage. I really think the animations are amazing. Even with a champion like Diablo, that seems to clearly be the worst champion of the year, the animations are still fantastic. So yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. By the way, this was video number one. If we want to check out video number two, of course, against Ebony Slaw, I call him Ebony Slaw because just like Cold Slaw, overhyped, underwhelming, at least from my experience. 
And you can see that the web foam cartridge canceling is key to the falter mechanic. So uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit is indeed a awesome counter for Ebony Maw and uh, somebody to keep in mind if you don't have a counter for this champion if you're lucky enough to pull. I also just love how the webbing goes around him at times with the animations. That's super cool. So yeah, pretty fast. What is it, like a 42, 43 second fight? And number three, Act 5, 1, 6, Iron Man, the tranquilizer cartridge holding Iron Man to minimal power on the kinetic, the kinetic reactor node. I'm actually, after a long day of work, I'm filming this at about 1 a.m. my time, and I'll post it, I would say, the following morning. Technically, it's already morning, so I'll post it in about five or six hours when I wake up. Uh, the night of a YouTuber is never done, but if I'm able to help the community, even if this just helps one person, it's worth the video. That's my motto, at least. Not about the views, not about the subs. It's just about helping people. All right, so uh, here we go. You can see just controlling that power. A awesome, awesome thing. And yeah, I got some recoil damage. Not ideal. But at the same time, solid power control champ. And once again, the uh, impression of the animations and mechanics are highly valuable. So there you have it. Huge shout out to Chris Barnes of ISO 8Y, otherwise in the lineup known as the BD of Death with a bunch of fancy symbols. And I guess the number three technically is fancy in that sentence. Gosh, I'm tired. Uh, for providing this video and just the added information and commentary. I realize it was a lot to take in, so it might have not made perfect sense. But hopefully it was enough to see kind of the potential of this unawakened six-star champion, if you're lucky enough, like Chris, to pull him right out of a crystal. Either way, good luck with all your crystal openings, YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.